Hi ladies, welcome to the feminine universe. I am so happy to have you here. There are so many reasons to always look pretty and polished, whether we're talking about feeling great, receiving better treatment, more opportunities, or just not having to duck behind shelves when you see someone you know while you're not looking your best, because we know it always happens at the worst possible times. So I'm going to give you six tips on how to always look pretty and polished. Let's get started. The first thing you want to do is have a self-maintenance schedule. I think we've all heard the saying, stay ready so you don't have to get ready. That's what this tip is all about. You never want to be in the position where you're asking, how did my hair get this crazy? How did my nails get this chip? Or how did my feet get this rough? So make a schedule of what you need to do daily, weekly, and monthly to always look your best. Have a schedule for your hair. Do you need a weekly wash and set? How often do you need to do your brows? Do they grow back quick and it's a weekly thing? Can you go two, three weeks, even a month? How often does your skin need deeper care? Think about a mini facial once a week and maybe something more in depth once a month. And your nails, are we painting them weekly, getting the bi-weekly fill-ins, redoing our gel manicures? Have a schedule for those four things at a minimum because when your hair, brows, skin, and nails are done, you'll always look put together no matter what you're wearing. And by keeping these things on a schedule, nothing will get overlooked or forgotten because it slipped your mind that week. As we talk about maintenance and scheduling, we can't forget about setting aside a little extra time in the mornings or before a night out to apply a bit of makeup. It really doesn't have to be much to make a difference. Some powder, mascara, and either a lipstick or lip gloss is the sweet spot for many women. We also can't overlook how properly filled brows, the right blush, and just a touch of highlight can really take a look to the next level. But whether you prefer an in-depth application or a lighter touch, the right makeup will always enhance and add that last bit of je ne sais quoi to your look and that way you will not get caught slipping out in these streets. So first things first, keep a self-care slash self-maintenance schedule. The second thing you want to do is give your look a lift. One style tip I adore is to always look 20 to 25% better than what the occasion requires. That way you always look great, but not like you're doing too much. And one of the easiest ways to do this is with your shoes. In any outfit where it's possible, add shoes with some lift. Though I love a good heel or stiletto, that is absolutely not always necessary or practical. Just two inches or so can make a significant difference. Sneakers or trainers are obviously the most casual shoe, so go for any other kind of shoe when possible. And whether it's with boots in the winter or sandals in the summer, always look for a way to add a little lift. The next thing you want to do is make sure your style is specific to you. Knowing yourself and what looks best on you is going to make a world of difference in how you look. So many times people think they can look their best by doing what looks good on someone else, but unfortunately that doesn't always work. You have to know and work with your body type. If you're petite, what looks flowy and womanly on a fuller figured woman might just swallow up your frame. If you're very busty, what might be a peekaboo on a smaller chested woman could be an eyeful on your frame. Also, take into consideration what colors look best on you. Are you warm toned looking stunning in golds, reds, and oranges? Or are you cool toned and look way more stunning in silvers, blues, purples? What colors do you like personally? If you like pink, maybe we're not pulling up to the office in a neon pink flamingo dress, but a nice blush colored blazer can give you a slice of what you like while being a breath of fresh air from the typical black suits. The next tip would be to keep it simple. You can never go wrong with simplicity. When in doubt, it's always smart to go for universally flattering cuts and colors. A cocktail dress, a blazer, a pencil skirt. Simple colors like pieces in black, 
tan, navy, and white. Also, don't underestimate the power of wearing one color from head to toe. You've heard the saying, when you don't know what to wear, wear all black, and I live by that one. But I think that's true for quite a few colors. Think about an all white outfit, all tan, gray, or even burgundy. Simple pieces and simple colors are infinitely easier to style and wear and less likely to be unflattering or clash with the other items you have on. If you look back at some of the oldest pictures of women in little black dresses, they can look a lot more flattering than much more recent but painfully trendy looks. Now, if loud prints, asymmetrical cuts, and super trendy pieces are truly your vibe, just be sure to take a little extra time to put everything together well and structure the other pieces around your statement piece so nothing is clashing or making you look tacky. The fifth tip would be not to skip the accessories and the extras. Accessories are must-have pieces that can elevate any outfit, pull your look together, and allow you to really personalize your style. We've already discussed shoes a bit, just think about what some heels can do for a simple dress or a blazer and jeans outfit as opposed to flats or sneakers. Dainty, well-placed jewelry can really help add a feminine touch to literally any outfit. You can also elevate a simple outfit and make it a little more classy with some diamond studs or pearls where appropriate. If you really want to boost the class, you can always tie on a scarf, whether that's to your neck, your hair, or your handbag. A brooch can also be a great touch if you're into them. Now some stacked jewelry that can add a more modern or edgy touch to a plain outfit. A quality handbag and a classic cut will tie it all together. Try to keep handbags appropriate to the occasion. You don't want to carry a huge tote bag with a sleek evening look where a clutch would be a lot more balanced and cohesive. To top it all off, have a signature fragrance or a fragrance wardrobe to choose from as the cherry on top of every look. Lastly, I want you to remember that the details will make or break you. These are the things that set apart the grown and sexy from those playing dress up. Wrinkly rumpled clothing will ruin an otherwise attractive outfit. An old bag hanging on by a thread will become the unfortunate focus of a great look. And dirty, scuffed, or worn out shoes just scream the struggle. I completely understand having a bag or pair of shoes you can't part ways with and can't find anything similar to in stores. It's so frustrating. When that's the case, visit a handbag repair shop or a shoe cobbler to keep your favorite pieces in great wearable condition. If you stick to your self-maintenance schedule, give your outfits a lift through your shoes, dress in a way that flatters your body, focus more on universally flattering cuts and colors, pay attention to details, and top all of that off with the perfect accessories and extras, I guarantee you, you will feel amazing and you will always look amazing. You'll be pretty and polished at all times, and you'll reap all the rewards that come with that. And if you want to continue on this theme of always looking pretty, make sure to check out my Get Gorgeous Fast two-part mini-series for more tips on how to continue to beautify yourself. Until next time, ladies, stay feminine, stay focused, and have fun.